This is the brand new Autumn Winter 20 RAB VR Summit Jacket. I'm Paul from Trek It. Uh, it's a bit blustery today, so bear with us. Uh, we were going to stand over there overlooking the fabulous uh, Usk Valley. We are beneath the rather beautiful Langattic Escarpment above uh, Gavilan, Krikal, an absolutely stunning spot, albeit a bit blustery and a bit windy. And also making her debut today is Nelly. Nelly, come say hello. This is Nelly, everybody. Say hello, Nelly. She's making her debut. So we come out today to talk to you about this fabulous new VR Summit jacket. We're going to tell you what it's made from, what its features are, what it's good for, where you can use it, and what I personally think about this rather stunning piece of equipment. So stay tuned right to the end to make sure you get all of the full details and all the information you need to enjoy this fabulous new product. Okay, so before I start prattling on about all the techie stuff, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you hit the little bell icon, you'll get notifications as soon as we post any new videos. Okay, so what is the RAB VR Summit jacket? Well, some would argue, and I would be amongst that some, that uh, vaporized garments are the original soft shell jackets and trousers, because there are trousers available in the range as well. VR was invented by Mr. Rab Carrington himself, the man who gave his name to the brand. And it was designed to be uh, an all-encompassing, hugely versatile garment to cope with changeable conditions. And it was meant to be an all-in-one system to replace multiple layers. So it's, uh, it's lightweight, it's warm, in fact, this VR Summit is the warmest jacket in, the, in Rab's vaporized range. And it's designed for winter activities or stood around on a chilly day filming. I'm perfectly warm in here uh, and it's about six or seven degrees with the wind chill. So yeah, it works, it's warm, use it for skiing, um, mountaineering, climbing, hill walking, trekking, chilling around the campfire on a summer's evening. Anything you want where you want versatile warmth, protection and massive performance. So the basic principle behind all VR garments is that dual layer system. You've got a soft high wicking and insulating layer which is separate to a wind weather resistant and highly breathable outer layer. These two combine to give you uh, one garment that is massively versatile, can cope with all kinds of different weather conditions and is perfectly suited to those kind of activities where kind of weather resistance and hyper breathability are far more important than out and out waterproofing. So it's a true soft shell in that sense, designed to keep you comfortable whilst you're moving. This brand new VR Summit jacket is the latest generation, but it still holds true to Rab's original concept. Uh, it uses fantastically innovative new fabrics and materials. RAB have put an awful lot of research into this. They've taken feedback from professional end users, mountain guides, etc., to create this latest version of their VR Summit jacket. Still as good as the original, but now it's lighter, it's warmer, it's more breathable. It's just more, it's just better. Right, let's start uh, on the outside of the jacket, this rather fetching, um, what colour would you call this? I don't know what they call it actually, but I call it kind of reddy, rusty red colour. Uh, this fabric is the new Pertex Quantum Air fabric. Uh, the clue is in the name. It's a slightly air permeable fabric, which gives it fantastic breathability while still providing an element of wind resistance. And you can plainly see it's a blustery day today. My hood is blustering around. I can feel the wind blowing through behind me and I can feel a little bit of air movement through the fabric. I can feel it. I've just got a base layer on under here and I can feel it, but I'm not cold because you've got that insulating layer on the inside. The Pertex Quantum is a, is a tough nylon fabric. You know, it's got a good abrasion resistance and there's a light ripstop running through it. So if you do snag it, it will, uh, you know, will resist that long tear and you can easily repair it. As well as being windproof and, uh, well, wind resistant, sorry, and immensely breathable, 
it's highly weather resistant. Look at that tightness of the weave. Um, it resists rain, snow, sleet, etc. And it's also treated with a DWR, so that's a durable water repellent. So when water hits it, it just beads up and runs off, just adding to the extra protection that you get. Nelly, don't eat my foot. The DWR will uh, diminish over time with use and with wear and tear and with repeated washing, etc. But that can be replenished with uh, a Granger's product or a Nicolax product. Just simply spray it on the outside to replenish that DWR to enhance the weather protection. So inside, so beneath that fabulous quantum air fabric, on the inside, that uh, internal layer, if you like, is the uh, VR Warm 83 gram per square meter lining. So it's lighter than the original VR Summit. Um, the, the, the original VR stuff admittedly was quite weighty and this is substantially lighter but it still retains the same warmth because the materials have been advanced, they're using new technologies so basically the filaments, the little fibres on the inside, that fluffy lining are much finer and much more densely packed so the lining is lighter yet warmer than the original and all those little fibres trap the warm air that you're creating but you don't overheat because of that air exchange and the fibres also act to pull the moisture away from your skin, keeping you dry and comfortable on the inside if you're sweating heavily. And it also means that you don't get that sort of immediate chill down when you stop because all of that damp sort of air and moisture from the inside has been pulled away, whipped through the fabric and evaporated off from the outside. So it's really regulating your temperature, whatever you're doing, whether you're stationary or whether you're moving. Right, this might look really weird. <laughs> it looks like a great big fluffy onesie, Harry said. Uh, but basically you can see uh, what, what, what I've done. First of all, is I've turned, it, turned the VR Summit jacket inside out just to demonstrate the construction uh, of the inside lining. So this rather lovely fetching bright color you can see here, this is the VR Summit uh, fluffy lining, which does all that insulation and wicking the moisture. And you can see it's right through the chest and the back and under the arms and then you've also got this mesh lining over the top of the arms just to increase that breathability because the heat it will escape from there but it also just makes it a little easier to glide over your base layer underneath so there you have it there's the VR summit lining with that mesh over the top of the arm the lining also extends up into the hood and if you can see that Harry I've tucked it away inside but the hood is fully insulated, it's on the inside. Remember, I've got this on inside out and it also doesn't work very well this way, I'm getting a bit cold. So I suppose the best way to explain the whole kind of principle of Vaporize is that the lining and the face fabric act together to pump out warm, moist, sweaty air and moisture. It pumps it out quicker than kind of rain and snow can get in so provided you're moving quickly or well provided you're moving you don't move quickly but provided you're moving and you're generating a bit of warmth these things work superbly and it just means you're not grabbing your shell jacket every time you encounter a light shower or a flurry of snow because of that pumping action you're going to stay comfortable and you're going to stay protected at all times however there's always a but isn't there however or but the vr summit jacket is not 100% waterproof. If you were just to stand still in tipping down rain, it would get through eventually. Admittedly, you still stay comfortable because this still will, will this thing will still retain some warmth when wet, but it is not 100% waterproof. So we would always advocate that you carry a hard shell jacket with you just in case. Okay, let's rattle through the features. Uh, not a huge amount of features. It's designed to be lightweight and a high performance piece. So you don't need to be festooned with um, features, basically. So let's start at the top. Uh, what you can see flapping around here rather annoyingly behind me is the hood. So it's a fully helmet compatible hood with a little uh, wire stiffened peak at the front just to stop it flopping down over your eyes. You get two side draw cords with the little cohesive cord locks tucked away inside here just to make it easier to adjust and there's a little velcro tab on the back just to take the volume out if like me you've just got a beanie on or even just over the top of your head pockets wise you get two uh, hand pockets here they've got a soft sort of polyester mesh lining inside 
Uh, you could use this to dump a little heat as well because of that uh, openness. If I turn to the breeze, yes, it whistles through quite nicely. So that would dump heat if I was getting a bit hot, but plenty of room in there for, you know, hats, gloves, bits and pieces, etc. And then up on the chest, just neatly tucked away, you've got a little uh, kind of hidden zip chest pocket, um, pop your mobile phone, GPS, bits and pieces up in there, out of the way. Cuffs, you've got uh, elasticated and Velcro cuffs. Um, though, to be honest, I'm not quite sure what is the point of the elastic because they're quite loose and that elastic, I mean, unless you're going to put massively thick padded gloves on, you're never going to stretch that elastic. elastic. I, you know, I have got skinny wrists, admittedly, but anyway, I'm waffling. Uh, you've got a Velcro adjuster, pull that round. Oh, I see, yeah, the elastic stretches when you pull that round. It does seal that up quite nicely, actually. Sorry, Rab, I take that back. Quite a handy piece of elastic. Uh, and then down at the bottom, you've got a dual-sided draw cord with these really nice flat buckles. I'm a big fan of these new ones that Rab are using. They're just really easy to use and it just helps to seal the warmth in, particularly like today when the wind is whistling up your bum and just closes it off, seals all the warmth inside the jacket. So a nice minimal feature set, everything you need, nothing you don't. So the main zip uh, is, is ever reliable YKK zip. It's, uh, it's a Vislon version, so it's a plastic zip that will keep free running in snow and ice. And it's a two way, so you can undo it from the bottom, answer the call on nature, get to your B-Lay device, whatever. Uh, or you can adjust it for ventilation. Whatever takes your fancy, it's a two way zip. Uh, Fit-wise, VR Summit jacket. Uh, well, this is a size large and it fits me uh, really well, as do most things from Rab in a size large because I am six foot three. I've got a 42 inch chest, a 34 inch waist, and I've got stupidly long arms. And this is about absolutely bang on on the arms, um, even with the cuffs done up and I'm reaching up. Woo, that's a blowy bit. It, it's, um, you know, good length on the arms, nice fit in the body. I've just got uh, an Arcteryx uh, Phase SV base layer on underneath. And to be honest, that's pretty much all I'd wear. There is room if you wanted to layer up underneath, but it's not advisable. You're best off just using a good base layer under here because that's how it's designed to perform. Okay, layering system. Where does the VR Summit jacket fit in the layering system? Well, the, the, all of the VR products are designed to be used as a standalone jacket uh, or garment that is designed to replace multiple layers because you, you've got an insulation layer, you've got a wind and weather resistant layer there. So really the best way to use these is just over a good base layer. So in uh, you know, milder weather, you might just have a t-shirt underneath because that soft lining is so comfortable next to the skin. Uh, in winter, you might have a heavyweight base layer underneath when you're active, but that is really all you need underneath the VR. It um, also means that the jacket is gonna perform to its maximum because all of that soft VR lining on the inside is as close to the source of the heat and the moisture as possible, which is your body. So you want that to work effectively. So just a good wicking base layer underneath is all you need. Uh, like I said earlier, it's not 100% waterproof, so if it is tipping down with rain and you've got to throw over a shell, it will work as a mid-layer because of that phenomenal breathability. So you could use this as a mid-layer in winter conditions with a shell over the top. And if you do need some extra insulation, if it's getting a bit chilly, you're sat at the bottom of a belay, you stop for lunch, do your navigation checks, etc., etc., and you're stationary for more than a few minutes, you might want to pop an insulating layer over the top um, which is a great way just to trap all that warmth. But once you get going, just have this as your outer and your mid layer, because those two layers work together as one. Okay, that's the uh, brand new, revised and updated RAB VR Summit jacket. Uh, personally, I've been using uh, RAB's VR for a number of years and I'm a massive fan. It works superbly. If you've never used this type of product, I thoroughly recommend you give it a go. I know that you will be impressed. It's lighter, 
it's more breathable than it ever was. It provides superb protection, breathability, weather resistance. It's, a, it's the kind of perfect all mountain, all conditions, soft shell jacket. Right, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed us, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll be notified when we post new videos. And if you have any questions or comments, pop them in the section below. Harry and I do personally answer and respond to those. So it's always good to hear from you. Thanks again for watching. Toodaloo.